Maynoss was the third child of four born to Lydia and William Steele. This is her mom Lydia and father William at the 25th wedding anniversary. He was Gordon Highlander and fought in the Boer War for 12 years. Here's May getting her hair combed. She's probably about three or four. Here's her younger sister B on the left. Here they are on a ship coming back from Ireland. Uh, her mother thought it would be wonderful to go back. And apparently when they got there they hated it. It was a horrible place. Here's her dad again and the rest of the family growing up. Here's Sam pointing a cork gun at us. Mom with her favorite china doll on the left and B on the right. Here she is in fourth grade. This is in Ferndale. Here she is with a bunch of other friends and family. You notice they're starting to get older. I think this is one of her aunts, but I don't recall her name in the middle. And here's the forum. Here's mom playing baseball. She was really good at baseball, basketball, field hockey, you name it. She was really good at most sports. Hello everyone. I'm Doreen Forbes, and thank you for joining us today on our program, Welcome to the Neighborhood. Each month, I host new residents who recently moved to Henry Ford Village, and today um, I would like to introduce to you Merle and May Knopf. <laughs> and Mrs. Knopf, how about you? Where were you raised? Well, and I'm a native Detroit, uh -huh. of many of them, and <laughs> I was born on Palmer Avenue, oh. right in the inner city. Uh -huh. Where Palmer School used to be, yeah. Uh, anyhow, mm -hmm. and uh, my folks settled there first. My dad and mother were both from Ireland, oh. and uh, they knew each other in Ireland. But my mother's dad did not approve of the marriage. She didn't think my dad had enough education because he was a he was a musician, and my mother was raised like a lady. So, but she had a lot of spunk, <laughs> and. They decided that my dad would come over here first and get a job, and then he'd send my mother the money because her dad wouldn't give her any, and he had, I guess he had plenty. So, <laughs> so that's what he did. He came over and got a job in a, as an orderly in a Catholic hospital. Okay. When he got the money, he sent for her, and uh, they picked that area because in Detroit because it was an Irish community. We lived in an apartment, and. Uh, which was hard for them. We all had whooping cough at oh, once. <laughs> it was dear. terrible in there. So, but my dad thought we got sick too much. So when Henry Ford uh, started that five dollar a day mm -hmm. wages, that was a lot of money. Yes, it was. So uh, we moved out to uh, Ferndale, and it was just a little country town, but it was it was fun. Uh -huh. but, so we lived there until until I was married. Here's mom with a bunch of her girlfriends at the beach. Liddy's in the very back. Here's Sam all dressed up, probably ready to go to church. And the three girls together, all dressed. And Lydia next to her with a couple of other girlfriends. Here's Sam and May. Notice their shoes have been re-threaded, re-sold, re-ever a couple of times. Mom's in these publicity pictures. These were postcards from a camp uh, in Muskegon. Somehow she got into all these postcard pictures. Here she is on the far left. This next one she's on the far right just getting out of the pool. And here's two twins that she really liked when she was at this camp. This is one of her friends she grew up with. They're getting ready to go. She's got a corsage on. May with the girls again. Lydia and May on a boat somewhere. And here they are, all dressed up, probably going to church. Here's a better picture of May. And here's May's mother, Lydia, on a swing, which is kind of funny. I didn't think she was this lively. Here she is with a group of guys at the place. They were just balancing the rock. And this is Wisconsin Dells with Grandma. Halloween party, she was all dressed up. And Sam and Luella got married. And here's her high school graduation in 1933. This is the invitation. Here's the listing of the class members. 
And here's the school, it's Lincoln High School in Ferndale. And here's her graduation picture and her certificate, her diploma. This is a purse I think she got as a gift. And she's getting a little bit older. She's a little dressed up, ready to get going in the car. At the beach again with a group. Another Halloween bash. And back to the beach. And of course, she was at her childhood friend's Ruby Fry's wedding with uh, Bob Burnett. And also at Lydia and Earl's wedding. I think this is a professional picture they had taken to, as she started work. Here's the girls together. Mom's ready to go out on the town, I get. I did secretarial work for Difficult Laboratories. That's a medical okay. firm, which is right downtown Detroit. The president of our company would not let, have a married woman working there. Uh -huh. And uh, I thought that was terrible. But, <laughs> but anyhow, <laughs> so that, the rest of my life is married to Merle. Uh -huh. He's guy. <laughs> William Steele died the year that I was born in 1946. Here's some courting pictures from Mom and Dad. Well, we met in the YMCA down, down the central Detroit um, as a result of a young people's group at Central Methodist who were going out to visit others who hadn't shown up. Okay. And so they elected to ride in my car because we were going out by Two by two. Because I wanted to ride in his car. Because <laughs> you thought he was cute. I'm sure Dad's here teaching Mom how to play golf because that was his favorite thing to do. Here they are courting. This is at Belle Isle. Mom throwing baseballs again. She really was a good athlete. And I think this was on one of their trips. Here's Dad uh, being the oarsman. And here's their newspaper announcement and they got Henry Hitt Crane to come and marry them at the church in Ferndale. And these are the professional pictures from Barth Studios. The studios did not come to the church back then. May's brother Sam and sister B, dad's brother Ken, Lydia, May, Merle, Ruby, and his brother Rusty. This is their wedding cake. Apparently they kept the top of the cake for about 10 years in the freezer, and I guess when they took it out it was just like cardboard. Here's the billing invoice for Mom's piano she owed money on, but Dad paid it off in the first year. Here's their first house on Colton in Detroit, and a brand new apartment, a nice new refrigerator, gas stove, mixing faucet in the sink, and a small table. And along came Janet. Here's one of the first Christmas cards. Janet taking her bath, she's gonna fly into the little tub. And here's Janet and Charlene Olson. They live right upstairs. Here's Mom and Janet on the swings. Another Christmas card, I think this is the second or third year. And here's Janet just having a lot of fun at Christmas. Got her new buggy and a new mirror and a brush. Back to the beach. Mom's a ham. And I ruined the whole thing. Along I came. I was just a hair over three pounds. Here I am at the school. I'm probably only about three. And here we are still in the apartment in Colton. And this is the guy I think I was named after. Uh, I never heard any stories about him. He must not have been as nice as they thought. So, And then they moved to Ferndale. And Mom always made sure we had a good time. So here we were all dressed up, going to Lake Geneva. And these are some of the Christmas cards that Dad made. He had a lot of talent with the photography. And here's how he made them. He'd take individual pictures of them. I'd get on a chair, then Janet, then they would. And then Dad to take a picture of the scene that they wanted to put him in, and he cut him out and put him in. And these are a bunch of the ladies from the church that got together quite often. And I think this is Bob Thornton and I, my uh, christening at Central Methodist. They also had a Mary Hammers group, which originally they got together to sew, but after a while it just turned into a nice social group. Here's Janet twisting my arm again. 
Neither of us are real happy at Central Methodist. Here we are at the zoo riding the train and mom reminds me of the times when they first built the zoo and all the animals kept escaping. Mom had nice birthday parties for us, that's Janet and I, and we always had a cat. We, they, mom liked cats. And mom was a good piano player. She played a lot and I think that's where we got a lot of our musical talent from. There's one of our original books and you could even color in it. Swing Dad made us in Ferndale. Here I am, a little angel. And I think Janice leaving home, I don't think it was my fault. I think she was going to camp. Here's Merle's mother with May. And then finally we uh, built a home in Birmingham. Here's the foundation going in. Here's uh, Dad's mom and Dad looking at the plans. And it was pretty plain, but Mom and Dad did all the landscaping. They rotor-tilled it all, they put the grass seed in, all the flower beds, everything. Here's one of our cars, and this is one of our aunts at Metro Beach. Here's Connie. And here's Christmas. Janet's reading us a poem or something, and uh, our stockings are hung. And as the years went on, it got better and better landscaping and beautiful trees, and Mom really liked gardening, and so did Dad but also they had a wonderful huge garden with raspberries and corn. And here's all the grandkids picking peppers and tomatoes and all kinds of stuff. And we had a real nice hill behind the place that we sledded on a lot and there was an ice skating rink in town. And we all played instruments. The two girls played the flute and I played the clarinet and the oboe. And here's Connie's little store we put together one year and we didn't have real sidewalks so you had to roller skate wherever you could. And here's the Hart family with us, our typical Christmas morning. And when mom got something, she looked, she was real shy. She just got a new stool. And this was the group from church. They did this every New Year's Eve. They'd have a progressive party and give goofy gifts. And here was a skit of some time at our house. And here's an outfit. Dad uh, hooked up the wagon for me to drive it around and pull Connie. And granted, Janet graduated and got married, and I graduated and got married, and here we're having dessert after a wonderful meal at Birmingham. Here's our first pool, just a little plastic thing in the backyard. And then they eventually put in a nice big pool, it was a kidney-shaped pool with a diving board. Everybody loved coming to our house. And if it was cold, we'd just turn the heat up in the water. There's mom in the background. And we had a nice picnic table in the shade by the pool. We had a lot of fun meals there. And mom would get a gift. She would get a plant to plant and all dressed up, she'd plant it anyhow. And here she is really enjoying something. Here's Grandma Steele's 100th birthday. She lived with mom and dad for 50 years. And here's Pat getting a cut glass bowl from mom. She loved cut glass. Mom was always giving her, but we always went out to the Thorntons for a lot of occasions. Had a beautiful waterfront and all the toys. There's Hannah Holmes from Ireland, and that's Sharon and Mom and B, Aunt Lydia and B and Grandma, and I'm not sure who the kid is. But in the winter, we had just about as much fun. The lake and freeze over, and here's Bob and I skating. We had a lot of fun, and this was a general Christmas get together. There were people everywhere, tons of presents. We had a great time and great food because Aunt Lydia and Mom are both great cooks. However, we had a wonderful two weeks in Wisconsin every year at Lake Geneva. Here we are, and uh, this is Otto Koneko, one of the ministers from church, and I'm sitting on the fender here with Pete and Rowie and Janet, cousins. And here's Janet's birthday in Barrington. It always hit when we were going there. This is the Lowers, and this is how it looked when we were eating there. It was lovely meals. And for the first bunch of years we went there, we had tents, and here we are going to our tent. This is what it looked like last year. It's uh, about the same place, a lot nicer. Here I am in a swimming class. They trained us on the grass and then eventually we went into the water. And here's mom and dad walking around the lake. There was a path all 21 miles around the lake. And here's mom with Heather Crop in the water. And we had archery and here I am and here mom is. She was much better at it than I was. And then we'd go out to the golf course. And the women would usually play alone. Occasionally they would play with men, but the men played too fast and too hard and too competitive. But mom would get a bee sting, she didn't care about her golf, but oh, did my hand hurt. And 
Here you'd think they're going in the pro shop for something good. Well, they are. They go in there, they had a soda fountain in there. They always get treats. And here's Connie, first time she went, getting her bath on the porch of the tent. And apparently Ann Yale got a really nice gift at one of our skits. And here they are on the golf course. Here's Mitch, mom. And here's Ethel and mom. And then of course we had our goofy golf. It's a kind of an after dinner thing where you'd have to tee off in the pool and if dad could do it, mom could do it. Here's mom and Connie and Ethel and Craig at the beach. And here's our whole group sitting on the beat in front of the cabins here. Craig and Connie were about the same age. They really enjoyed being there. And we had lovely gifts. Here was a lovely night thing and a bikini and a false leg that mom and Don Cameron won. Boy, were they lucky. And this is kind of what it looked like. And most of us kids worked there. Here I was on the service crew. I worked there during the summer for two summers and Janet worked there for one summer. And here's mom and Ethel happy that the Yales had arrived. Here's a cabin we built as a youth group up at the Woods Cottage and of course Dad came but Mom was there cooking all the meals. She really liked to cook. Here's a cookbook that they worked on at uh, Central Methodist Church and you'll never guess who the co-author was. And here's one of Mom's recipes. I think she had 20 or 30 throughout this book. She really was a good cook. And this is before our pool. And then they put it in and uh, everybody came to our house in the summer. Here's everybody outside having ice cream by the pool. And here's most of the family and some of the relatives from Ireland. And here I'm in the boat. And mom and dad did use the pool a lot, even when there wasn't company. Here's mom with Amy, Janice's daughter. And here we are in the shade having another meal by the pool. And here's some church people and neighbors. And mom got a nice quilt. And of course, it's blue, her favorite color. Here she is helping work on somebody's place, trying to clean herself up. And here's mom with the two mothers, Lydia and dad's mom. And here's mom, part of a skit at the church on the right. Oh, one hospital? Is that, that uh, Mrs. Mom? Other than my family stuff, that's the highlight of my life is volunteering. I volunteered for almost 30 years. Yeah, you. Wow. Wow. And I, wow. I'd still be there now yeah. if I couldn't do it, but I don't push things too well. But um, I used to know that hospital very well, and I gave tours too and stuff like that. And here's a volunteer thank you letter for 100 hours of working at Beaumont. I found another one with 4,000 hours, and I think she went way over that. And here's some of the pins she got for volunteering and thank yous. She also was at the YWCA. She was on the board there and she was part of the group that actually rebuilt the whole YMCA and raised the money. And of course, Connie was in the band and they needed new uniforms, so mom and dad were involved. They had the bucks for the band. And here's mom sitting at a car wash in Birmingham and they sat there and raised money. Here she is at a tea for the volunteers and of course she's volunteering at the tea. Here's Fran and Mom. They ran the toy department at the rummage sale at church, and they had a great time. They also raised a lot of money. Here they are on an antiquing trip, and there's a clock on the counter that Dad's going to buy, and Mom's looking at some glassware. This is in Eaton Rapids. They got a house to do a sale on, and they did a big, huge sale on it, raised a lot of money for the church. They did a lot of house sales after that. And here's some of their trips. Here they are at the Middletons, and he was able to get a big vehicle from General Motors and they'd get in and go on trips in it and they had a great time. And mom started collecting rocks and it got to a point where dad says you don't bring another rock on board unless you take one off. Here's the McKees and the Middletons for dinner at our house and here's Connie and Janet and me and Pat and here's mom at Pat and my wedding and Janet and mom are preparing our turkey dinner Here's mom and dad with Bridget McKinnon, Connie's stepdaughter. She's just graduating. And here's mom and dad at the cottage digging a trench to, I think, running the gas line. And it went up pretty quick. 
And as soon as walls were up, Mom and Lydia were painting them. And here's Pat and I inside. We're still working on the place, trying to get the drywall and insulation up. And here's our Knopf's niche sign. And after it's done, here's Grandma with Katie, our daughter, reading her a story. And here's Mom and I sitting on the dock feeding the ducks and having another meal in the shade. And in the fall, we took lots of nice walks. It was much cooler. And we found that you didn't have to build a big fire to make s'mores. You could do it on the barbecue. And here's the McKees and the Peacocks at the cottage. And here's Dad and I fishing. We tried it a few times, never caught any. And this is in Bayview with Fran. We, they went there a lot to their concerts. And here's her sister B preparing fruit and down at the little bridge going across the island. Here the three girls are going out on a voyage. And here's Dale and I think it's Amy, the mom in the water at the cottage. And here's another meal at the Keys just down the road a bit from where the cottage was. Here's a B and mom in a rowboat and dad's wondering if they're ever going to come back. Here's some, some Mickey Mouse ears sticking out here. That's just how the snow fell at the cottage and we went up there quite often in the winter. And here's mom with her cross country skis. They actually did a fair amount of that. Here I think they're with the McKees here and their dog in the front. And here's the downhill part, which they didn't really like, but they did quite well. And here's your on golden part here. They're going to roll around the lake, just around the island. And here I was with Katie at the cottage. And here's mom making a strawberry jam again. And of course, she's still cooking while dad's fixing the drawer. And I think this is Katie's birthday and mom's birthday all at once. We both had cakes. And here's the three musketeers, Dad and Earl Thornton and Jack Crop. And Mom loved her flowers. Here I'm helping her water them. And here's the McKinnon, that's Bridget on the right, and Bob on the left, and Connie. And this is a group from Central Methodist. They went up to Port Huron as a group. It was an elder hostel. Here's Mom with Katie at an Easter egg hunt. She did that with most of the grandkids. She did a lot of stuff with the family. And here's most of the family up at the cottage. Here's one of the last times mom and dad were up at the cottage. It got to where they couldn't get up the steps and they couldn't get in and out of the bed without help and they couldn't prepare any food and it was just really hard on them. But we had meals at Connie's too in Livonia. And here's some of the Thornton clan over in Bloomfield Hills. And here's Lydia and Janet and mom and Earl. And Jack and B, we miss Jack a lot. And here we are at the Thorntons, and Bob and his wife and family came in. And here's Bridget at a race. Mom and Dad tried to support all the grandkids, whatever they did. Here's Mom and Lydia admiring the flowers. And here's Sharon and Bee and Jack in front of the Thorntons place. This is one of our get-togethers at Henry Ford Village. I'm pretty sure this was around Christmas. And here Mom did a flow blue display with the rest of her china at Henry Ford Village. She really liked her antique stuff. And here she is with her flowers. She loved these. These were great big peonies. She used to raise, raise peonies and roses. I think these are roses here. And Mom always had a nice table. She set seasonal tables all the time. And then of course we had a wonderful meal on top of those beautiful tables. Here's Janet's Jim giving Mom jelly jars and he wanted them returned with jelly in them. And here's Mom opening her presents at Christmas. She got a lot of fun things. And here she got a doll ornament for the tree from Janet. And here's Nevis, a foreign exchange student, helping her make the famous cherry bread that Grandma Steele used to make. And here we are having a little prayer before the meal. And of course we had all those wedding celebrations. Here's their 25th and Mom got a nice piece of sterling silver. And here's the two mothers and Jerry Ostry looking at the wedding picture. And the next one we did was the 50th. And that was at the church in Birmingham. Here's a whole group from the church and the crops. And here's Janet talking to the audience all around. We're just having a good time looking at pictures.
And then at the 50th, we gave them a card that says we're going to send them to Hawaii, and they did. And of course, they had to have an Owa party to go to Hawaii, so they did. They dressed up, and the crops went with them too. Here's the trees in Hawaii. And mom's with a hibiscus bush there next to her hair. And then we did their 65th, or this is this probably the 60th, and it's David and Sue Steele here. And that's Ruby and V. And here they are going down the reception food line. There's Joan on the left, and then Cheryl and Sue and David Steele. Then they went out to South Dakota. Here they were at the Badlands. And here's the Bainans at uh, Bayview, not too far from the cottage. And they're at a historical Civil War site for the Middletons. And here she's making the cherry bread with Connie. Here's just a Christmas scene from uh, the Four Seasons. And here's everybody getting ready to eat. And then they went out to Maine. And here's the three sisters. And here's Jim, Janet's husband. He was the king that uh, did a bash out by Lake Orion every summer. And mom dancing with dad. Back into the mountains in Canada. Here's Annie Yale and mom coming out. They're going antique and they're happy. They're buying some antique glassware. Or another tourist trap. All kinds of things you can do. This is down at the Thornton's uh, trailer in Florida and there's Bob and they're having a strawberry dessert. I think this was in California we went out there and I happened to be with them. I think this one's in Florida. There's another one from Florida. Mom fell down the stairs in the Methodist church and broke her arm. And here's Ethel and Jack McCullough in Florida. They actually live with Craig McCullough. Here's Bouchard Gardens with the crops. Here's mom and dad riding in a gondola going up some mountain. And here's dad on thin ice again. I always said he was. And this was probably back from Hawaii, another fountain in a lovely spot. This is the Hearst Mansion in Southern California. Pretty sure this is Disney World. And mom and dad went to dad's 50th year reunion at Iowa State. Here they are back at the pond at Henry Ford Village. And they came up a few times to our cottage up north and we're on the deck and I'm burning something on the grill. And mom went to grandparents day at school with Katie. And they loved making cookies. And here's Connie, I think this was mom's 94th birthday. Here's mom with all of the Middleton family at a big gathering. This was at, I think it's Claire's wedding. And here's Claire and Bridget at the pond. They're going to feed the fish. And here mom had a sore arm with a heating pad, so we're letting them eat in the TV trays at the cottage. And later on, they were finding it harder and harder to get around. They both had a walker. And we get them down there and we get them their food and bring them to them at the table. This was the Thanksgiving, the last one Dad had. And we got to have a little fun. I always making fun pictures with Mom. She's the one that had the sense of humor. Nope, she wasn't on the Titanic, but she was a super mom. And she was an angel, kind of devilish at times, but I bet you didn't know she was a professional skier. And she and B were in the Sisters magazine. What a deal. Here's something they wrote that's special. It's been 65 years since Merle and I were married, October 4th, 1941. Are still very much in love. Finding a mate with the same ideals and Christian background was very important to us. It hasn't been always smooth going as we have had joys and sorrows, but our strong Christian faith has never failed to sustain us. We met at church, became very active members, and made many lifelong friends. Our healthy lifestyle has included using preventative medicine doctors, a healthy diet, and exercise to keep us physically fit, while volunteer work in our church and community has kept us mentally alert. 
Ours has been a happy, loving family. Our three grown children have been encouraged to love and trust each other and to help others in need. Recently, they gave us a party to celebrate our 65th wedding anniversary and our 90th birthdays, all in the same year. We are grateful to have such a good life. A couple of months ago, we had a small service here at the Birmingham Church, and we put Dad's ashes in the courtyard here, and we just before this service added Mom's. Dad's name is here. Mom's will be there shortly. When mom was doing so poorly up here, uh, the two girls were driving through Northport and they saw a car just like dad's with the trunk on the back and they both looked at each other and said, dad's coming to get mom. Well mom, we'll miss you. You're in a better place. Dad and all your missing friends are with you now. I got your sense of humor and all your musical talents. Well, I know you're in heaven and in heaven you don't have to cook, you don't have to clean up, you just plan parties and enjoy yourself. And I also know you're probably 29 again and you lose 20 pounds as soon as you show up. We'll miss you. 